within the memory of our people. The ways that we, we took care of the land, I think, are very different than what modern society and science talks about. As important as healing the land is healing the people. So my hope is that people understand that they have a relationship with the land. If we take care of the earth and each other, we will make it. Pre-industrialization, the slough was a marshland like most of the San Francisco Bay. During the gold rush, Bayview Hunters Point and the Yosemite Slough was the first dry dock and that brought a lot of industrial uses to the site till about the 1940s when the Navy moved into the Naval Yard. There's been a lot of contamination of both the land around Yosemite Slough and Bayview Hunters Point, but also in the water. Because of this history, the Federal Environmental Protection Agency is planning a cleanup of the site. One of the goals of the Yosemite Slough Neighborhood Adaptation Plan is that we address this neighborhood specifically because it has been left out of the larger sea level rise adaptation planning process throughout the city. Adaptation planning can be thought of in terms of protection, accommodation, and possibly long-term changes to how we use the land. California State Parks has worked for years to incorporate projected sea level rise into plans to make Candlestick Point State Recreation Area more resilient. State Parks' approach features nature-based solutions such as the extensive restoration of wetlands that has already been completed on the northern side of Yosemite Slough. Thinking through how we can both avoid the flooding and the sea level rise and the contamination is a really important piece of this so that we can have a future in this neighborhood where people are healthy and people are able to live what motivated me is a generational long fight for environmental justice. We're gonna suffer from climate change as well. San Francisco has to prioritize sea level rise, especially for our shoreline and Bayview Hunters Point for the protection of our community residents and our ecosystem. Not a matter of if it's gonna happen, it's a matter of when. Human beings, we're our own worst enemy, so we have to have more of a collective conscience. We have to love the land. What I hope for this neighborhood, for this community, is no more deferment of our dreams. When you are in a BIPOC community, representation matters. All plans of this sort need to be co-produced by the folks who have the technical knowledge and the folks who live and have the lived experiences of being in that geography, in that environment. The way the government can make amends to the land is starting with the people that are on it now. The community will be informed to make decisions about sea level rise through this project and to be a part of that process. We need to participate so that when it's done, we're all happy with the results. We need to come together and we need to put in place something that is so powerful, it'll amaze people for decades.